Today I want to talk about trimmer upgrades and things and products you can buy to make string trimming a little bit easier. Here we go. So this is a video I've been looking forward to for a little bit now, especially since I got Toro's new 60 volt attachment capable system. And for um, several reasons, mainly convenience, I've been running uh, single tools uh, for different projects and tasks around the yard. But now that I have the attachment capable system, I can move a lot of the accessories and upgrades that I've done on my other tools into the one system. And I want to walk you through and show you three things today that I think are great improvements or good additions to your tool lineup, primarily if you have an attachment capable system. Now if you're just running single tools, some of these will work for you and might be good additions to your uh, kit. Uh, but for me, I'm going to focus primarily on outfitting the attachment capable system. But you might still find something helpful here. Now this lineup is going to go in order of least expensive to most expensive and we're talking a pretty wide spectrum here so start with the least expensive the first thing that i um, want to talk about is the actual string head on a string trimmer now on um, toro's new 60 volt attachment capable string trimmer they've made some really nice improvements to it i talked about that in the unboxing video you can check that out in the uh, link up in the corner here a couple things that i would like to improve on this that i'm going to attempt to do today uh, the first thing is going to be the actual string itself. Uh, the head here supports up to 80 thousandths sized line. Now, I have a large spool of Echo Black Diamond string line in the garage that is 95 thousandths. So, can't run it on this guy. Another thing I'm not too thrilled about with this is how you load the line. Uh, you fish it through uh, both sides of the head here and then you twist this small um, bump button on the bottom and then that will wind it up for you and load. It's simple enough but it's kind of small and over time as it wears it just gets tighter and tighter and harder and harder to move and I want to improve on that today as well. You can get Echo's speed feed head. Uh, this is a very popular trimmer line head and it is a universal fit. So we're gonna outfit the Toro attachment capable string trimmer with the Echo Speedfeed 400 trimmer line head. This also uh, loads up similar to this guy. The only difference is you have a much wider grip when you're twisting this. Better experience in my opinion. There it is, installed and ready for action. And I'm excited to have this on here. And it's, if it's something you wanna do, it's pretty inexpensive. It's like $30 for this kit here. And it went on, at least for this string trimmer, as easy as possible. Uh, it comes with a couple of different uh, sized threaded uh, inserts uh, to adapt to different brands. Uh, use the default one that was already in here. Perfect. It does come with a spacer. I did have to utilize that. The only downfall on this is the line sits a lot, a little bit lower now, and it when it's swinging around, it does miss the razor blade to keep the line at a certain length. So might have to figure out a way to uh, make this razor blade a little bit lower. Maybe put some spacers in there. Shouldn't be a big deal, or I'll just not even worry about it and just kind of be conscious of how long the line is when I'm bump feeding. So not a big deal there. Uh, the payoff of having thicker line, line that I actually prefer to use, 
and a little bit more grip area when winding up new line is worth it to me. All right, the next modification and attachment that I wanna show you that you could add to your trimmer is the Darwin's grip. Now I am running the Darwin's grip on my Milwaukee attachment capable set here, which I run only my power rotary scissors on. And the nice thing about this is it's a lifesaver, especially if you feel like the string trimmer or whatever tool you're using is just too short and you feel like you're kind of hunched over when you're using it. The Darwin's grip allows you to have a better posture and relieves the stress on your back. And it does have a comfortable grip on the handle here. Uh, they have since come out with a newer version. I'm gonna link it down in the description below along with everything else that I show you here. That runs about 50 to $60 depending on the version you get. I have found that you gotta keep an eye on it though because they sell out really, really fast. So once you see it in stock, if it's something you've thought about getting, pull the trigger. Otherwise it's just gonna be out of stock and you're gonna be after waiting a little bit until they're back in stock. So as far as installation goes, it just clamps onto the shaft. And since I use this full time with the rotary scissors and the Milwaukee is a little bit shorter than the Toro, it sits lower down. It's actually below the attachment point, which for an attachment capable system isn't ideal because you want it to be up here uh, permanent and not just with a single attachment. So um, I'm gonna leave this on here for now because this goes primarily with my rotary scissors and I only use my rotary scissors in the front yard. So I'm gonna leave those there, uh, but I would attach this on the Toro just right above the attachment point and then that would give me a nice extra um, support on the grip there and save back pain. It really does work. Uh, highly recommend it and yeah. Darwin's grip. All right, the last thing to point out is the most expensive by far, and it has a very niche uh, use case, and I would only recommend it if you're mowing low, uh, like real mowing or mowing around an inch, and you find that when you're trimming around the edges of the grass with a string trimmer, that it's hard to keep it level, and you find yourself kind of digging into the grass because it's so short, and you're just kind of scalping it here and there, that's at least what was going on for me. Rotary scissors fix that. Now it is an expensive fix, it is an investment. They work fantastic. Um, I, I love them, I think they're great. And you can use them for taller grass too, but a string trimmer in my opinion works just fine for taller or normal uh, heights of cut. A lot of people have been asking if the rotary scissors will work with Toro's attachment capable tools. So, for you guys, I'm gonna take this off of my Milwaukee and replace one of my uh, Toro attachments with the rotary scissors and see how it goes. All right, so the sacrificial attachment for me, for this demonstration purpose is gonna be the uh, pole saw. I am going to simply remove this piece here so that I just have the shaft. So I'm gonna um, disassemble the tool from the shaft and then that should give me room to attach the rotary scissors. All right, so the verdict is in. Would not recommend 
power rotary scissors with the Toro attachment capable system. There's just not enough power there to drive the, the rotary scissors, which is unfortunate, kind of a bummer. Um, but like I said, for me, I've already got it set up here. So if you do decide to um, invest in power rotary scissors, you're gonna need to go with um, a different brand. Um, for me, I'm using the Milwaukee. Um, I've seen it work on um, Ego. You just need to make sure that you're getting it on an attachment capable system because with the power rotary scissors, um, it needs to have uh, the drive system in the back. Uh, if the drive unit, if the motor is up front here on the business end, it's not gonna work. So something to keep in mind, it also works on gas powered uh, units as well. Uh, but again, uh, I believe it has to be attachment capable. So like I said, it's an investment. It's something that does require a little bit extra and it's not for everyone. But the Darwin's grip for sure would recommend no matter what you have. I'm wanting to get a couple more of these, but they're currently sold out at the time of recording this video. And then having the speed feed head is just a better experience, at least for this setup for my opinion. Um, there are other uh, trimmer designs out there uh, that are just as good if not better than that. But as far as improving my preferred experience, that's gonna be a nice little upgrade for me too. So that's gonna go ahead and do it. I'll leave links in the description below for more information for you. If you have any questions, uh, let me know down in the comments below. This was kind of a fun little experiment for me today, just kind of playing around with these. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.